Stagnation is a word that strikes fear into the hearts of most people. It's so negative, it almost feels like you should be avoiding it at all costs. But the truth is, stagnation isn't as bad as we think. Stagnation can be a good thing when it comes to your career. It usually means you've reached an important point in your life and career where you need to take a moment to reevaluate your life goals and reassess where you are going next. It's not something to be feared but rather embraced, for once you understand what stagnation means and how it affects your life, you can take steps toward moving past it and growing as a person again. What exactly is stagnation? Stagnation is a state of being stuck in a place of inaction. It can affect both your professional and personal life and could be caused by many things including fear, burnout, or lack of motivation. It's important to note, however, that stagnation is not inherently negative. It's a part of the natural progression of life. We all reach points in our lives where we feel stuck, unmotivated, or unfulfilled. This is all part of the process of personal growth and development. It may not feel that way at the time, but stagnation is, in fact, a necessary part of life. Why does it happen? Stagnation usually occurs when you are stuck in a rut and you feel like you can't get out of it. The two most common causes of it are lack of motivation and burnout. Lack of motivation is a natural part of the process of growing older. Many people find themselves in a rut when they hit their 30s and 40s. They have achieved most of their life goals and now find themselves struggling to figure out what to do next. They may have a job that doesn't challenge them anymore or a significant other who doesn't bring out their best. The key to overcoming this type of stagnation is to realize it's normal and healthy to feel this way. It's nothing to be ashamed of or worried about. It's a necessary part of the human experience. When you recognize this, you can start taking steps to get yourself out of the rut. Find new hobbies that challenge you and make you feel alive again. Take a different route to work that makes you appreciate your surroundings. And most importantly, reevaluate your life goals and make sure they're still applicable to your current situation. The Psychology of Stagnation Stagnation is often caused by a lack of motivation to take action in your life. When you feel like you've reached the end of your rope, your mind shuts down and refuses to do anything that might push you even further. It's a natural defense mechanism that helps us see ourselves through rough patches. It prevents us from doing something stupid that might make our situation even worse. But as helpful as this instinct can be, it can also be harmful. If you allow yourself to get too comfortable and wallow in your self-pity for too long, you run the risk of completely shutting yourself off from the rest of the world. This can lead to depression and other negative psychological issues. Stagnation is the result of allowing your emotions to completely dictate your actions. You shut yourself off from the world and refuse to do anything because you feel like you can't. This is when you need to stop listening to your emotions and start using your brain. 3 Steps to Overcoming Stagnation One, stop worrying about being productive. One of the biggest mistakes we make when we're feeling stagnant is trying to be productive. Stagnation is not the same thing as laziness. It doesn't mean you're unproductive. The opposite may be true. You're so worried about doing things that you end up doing nothing. Stagnation is about allowing yourself to feel whatever you need to feel to get past it. It's about being okay with being a little unproductive and being okay with feeling sorry for yourself. No one is productive 100% of the time. If they are, they're probably not spending enough time alone to recharge their batteries. So don't worry about being productive right now. Ignore your to-do list and embrace your emotions. 2. Get back to your roots. The next step in overcoming stagnation is to get back to your roots. What do you remember doing when you were happiest? What made you feel most alive when you were in school? What were you most passionate about when you first started your career? Stagnation is a part of the human experience. It's natural for us to hit walls in our lives that we can't get past. The key to getting past those walls is not to force yourself to keep pushing against them but to look for the root of the problem and fix that. Stagnation is caused by a change in your life. You hit a wall because you've taken a different path than you used to. Retrace your steps and find the root of the problem. What has changed in your life that's making you feel this way? What do you miss about your past? Get back to your roots and you'll find the path to moving past this wall. 
3. Let yourself be human. The last step in overcoming stagnation is to let yourself be human. We're all human. We all experience feelings of inadequacy and feelings of being unproductive. It's normal to feel that way sometimes. Don't let yourself feel bad for feeling down or not being productive sometimes. It's a normal part of the human experience. What you need to do when you're feeling this way is embrace it. Don't try to force yourself to be productive when you feel this way. Instead, focus on yourself and let yourself feel whatever you need to feel to get past it. Conclusion Stagnation isn't a bad thing. It's a necessary part of the human experience. It happens when you hit a rough patch in your life and need time to figure out how to move past it. It's important to recognize that stagnation is a normal part of life and embrace your feelings. You don't want to wallow in them or let them consume you, you just want to fully accept and embrace them so you can move on. Once you acknowledge that you're experiencing stagnation, you can begin taking steps to move past it. Remember, you don't have to force yourself to push against the wall. You just have to find the root of the problem and fix it.